He's a good boy. Feels like forever since we've been out filming. I think the last video only went out about a week and a half ago, but I filmed it a couple of weeks previous to that, so it was sort of a uh, footage that I'd done. Oh, that was nice. Uh, a while before, so it feels like forever since I've been out. Um, so I decided to come out tonight. It is, what is it? It is half five on a school night. Um, but I thought I'd come out because obviously the longer days are getting here now and we get more time of an evening. I thought, yeah, I'm going to go out and do a little bit of filming. And there's a reason why I came out tonight. Um, <clears throat> quite often, I'll say, uh, you know, when you rock up at a site and we're talking about shelters and stuff like that, and I say, you, don't, you never know where you're going to be or, you know, what, what the ground's going to be like. So I thought, well, I'll go out at this time because this is the time. It's this time of night that you'd be looking for somewhere to build a shelter. This is a place I've come to loads of times, so there's not going to be any surprises here. There's about an hour and 15 minutes, I think, before it gets too dark. So this is exactly the time that you'll be looking for shelter or somewhere to put your shelter up. And um, nice little rule for you. So the sun's over there um, and you don't know what time the sun's actually going to set. You can actually get a rough idea. If you hold your hand out at arm's length and then just put your fingers flat like that between sort of like the bottom of the sun and the horizon, each finger that fits into that gap is around about 15 minutes. So I'm looking at that now, I'm thinking there's probably another finger that would fit in before it touches the horizon. So about an hour and 15 minutes left of sunlight. Um, I probably won't still be here then, but it'll be interesting to see what my measurement says when I finish doing what I'm doing here. So what am I doing here? Come on you! I'm going to put up a little shelter. So. I've got the, the basher, which I use quite a lot. And I've also got the bivy bag, which I don't use as much. And the times that I have used the bivy bag, I've used it with the basher. And that's sort of like almost pointless, really, because once you're under the basher, you're dry, you're, you're out of the, the, the wind and the rain and all the rest of it. So the bivy is almost like a, or should almost be a standalone thing. Um, but I have used it uh, in the rain and that. And it, they're not brilliant. I mean, they'll keep you dry and and all the rest of it out the rain, but you do still need some form of shelter. But I thought I'm gonna have a go at set, doing a setup that's a little bit more self-contained, a little bit more freestanding. And it's just something that came to me while I was watching some other videos online recently. Good boy. So yeah, I've just come over to my, uh, one of the areas where I do a little bit of filming every now and then. I'm just gonna find myself a nice flat spot, get a brew on, gotta have a brew. And, uh, and set this little shelter up. What do you think, boy? Should you do it in there? Or do you want to be out in the open? It's not a bad little clearing in there, you know. So I'm going to set the booby bag up just there. Got about an hour's left of sun, so uh, I'll crack on with it and then uh, I'll show you what I've done. I don't plan to actually spend the night here. To, um, I haven't got the right gear with me. I've only brought out my shelter to, to demonstrate what I want to do right now. So no sleeping bags or anything like that. Um, although to be honest, it's a fairly warm night. Probably could spend the night here tonight. Um, just going to clear a bit of spot first. Hard lumps. Uh, that are going to make them not uncomfortable. Just not getting my gear out now. Roll mat. First aid kit. Always carry a first aid kit if you're going to carry a knife. So this is where I'm going. British Army, Bivy. Holes. So first thing I want to do is get the roll mat down. Bunk pad. Very comfortable. <laughs> right, mate. Have you seen this before? <laughs> I 
over there. Good boy. So there's the phone cab down. The next thing to come out is the uh, bivvy. So here's the bivvy bag. I mean, this, this absolutely swamps me. I'm, I'm only short, so I'm like eight something like that. Um, so I get more than enough room in this. Um, what I'm going to do though, you can see how wide it is at this end. I'm not using it this way around because I want some form of sort of a shelter there. So I'm actually going to flip it over and I'm going to use it upside down. Next thing to go on. Okay. The tarp clamps, and I want five of these in total. There's a tarp clamp. Um, if you haven't seen me use these, then you haven't been watching any of my videos because I use these all the time. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two either end, two at this end and they're going to hold the bivvy to the ground because I do move around a lot at night. There we go, that's one in each corner to hold that end down. So next thing I'm going to do is just throw this hood back a bit. And then pick this out around about there. Same on the other side. And again, just pick these out. Give a little bit. Okay, that's the main portion of it done. Now we come to our trekking poles. Undo the trekking poles, you just tie the two handles together using the bungee like that. Obviously if you haven't got the bungee you can just use paracord. The next thing we're going to do is extend to the extension first. Extend this out to the stop point there. Do the same on this side. and then position them on the two corners there like that. Then I'm going to put the hood up and the tripping pole. Now, I'm just going to take these two bits here. This one is a five. Clamps. I'm just going to clamp it shut. So what I've done is I've made sure the handles are inside and I'm clamping it shut across the string, the draw cord. And then the final step is just to pick that out. So you've got the gyro, doesn't need a lot, I just want to pull that forward like that. And that gives me that porch area that I need. I still don't know what this is called. I've heard people say it's a taut line hitch, other people call it a guy line hitch. Um, so it's probably one of those, but basically it's a little sliding knot that allows me to put this pig in. Like that, and then tighten that up. Like that. So, 
Here's the shelter. I'll keep them again. As I say, because I'm so short, I'm all the way in here. Mister! Yeah, boy! Come on, then! Hello! You're going in there, here. Come on, then! Come here, look this way! Hey. Come on, here! Good lad! <laughs> Come on, then, in you come! Come on, then! Um, I mean, strictly speaking, because <laughs> the dog's in here as well now, um, and I am quite a way in. I'll move the camera so you'll be able to see it. My kit would fit in here quite easily. So, yeah, I mean, we're not going to spend the night in here together, ever, because there just wouldn't be enough room with them. Like, yeah, that's just mucky puff. Come on, back up, back up. Good boy. But uh, certainly for me on my own, when I'm out hiking, um, any real need to take the basher out with me anymore? This is actually pretty slick, I like this. See, if you don't like the closed in nature of a baby bag, especially like I said, if you're a short ass like me, well, look, even if you're not a short ass like me, my feet are now at the bottom, so even if you're six foot, you're still going to be pretty well covered here. There's a good couple of nearly two foot of space between me and there. And of course you could drop this down if you wanted to a bit more, splay it out a bit more if you want a bit more. But if you if you are a little bit claustrophobic and you don't like the enclosed nature though mate. That half hour, which would be about right, there's about two fingers left. Get the brew on. And of course, there is another bonus to having it set like this. That I've got a nice, uh, dry, flat space here. To sit on so my ass isn't getting cold while well, I make myself a cup of tea and watch that sun go down. Give it a bit of a clean first. What are we using today? We are using the Mets cooker. Steal my water. Yeah, boys, we'll and some water. Come on, then. There's no way he's actually thirsty. He's walked. We live about a mile over there.
think while that uh, comes to boil, start tidying this away. You are, aren't you? So we won't eat the long one on the main way. No, I know. We won't eat for long, but you know, we did stuff here, yeah? had a poutine all the rest of it. So, as per usual, and the reason I'm going to go before it actually gets dark is because I'm not going to be here in the morning, I'm not staying over night. And I want to be able to check that I've left no, no rubbish here. So, leave no trace. And I've kicked the leaves back over the bit that I cleared just to, to make sure there was no stones under. Because I don't really want to advertise that I've been here at all. Because I may want to come back here. It might be a bit noisy, but it could be fun. So there you have it. Um, if you've watched any of the other videos that I've put out, you're probably aware that I, I really like the idea of, um, of things having more than one use or being able to be used in more than one way. So I think most people, they use the British Army bivvy bag, literally just as a sleeping bag outer. Now I've tried to do it like that and I just I, I just wasn't comfortable. I was tossing and turning, I was wriggling all over the place because I do in the night. Um, it's a good job I had the, the basher up that night because it pissed down and I was half in the under the basher and half out of it so my bottom half was outside but that just goes to show how waterproof the bivvy bag is, I never really noticed. Um, next time I used the bivvy bag, I pinned it down similar to that, but with a cord holding the top open to a branch. Um, that was much better, because that allowed me to move around in the night the way I do. Put this in. You've seen something in the woods. What is this? There's nothing there, you crazy dog. Yeah, with it, with it pinned down, that allowed me to move and get myself comfortable in the night without, um, without basically ripping it all up and moving it all over the place. So that one there is actually going to be ideal for me. That's, um, I looked at buying a hoop vivi and I realised I pretty much all more or less had one if I just just made a few little, not even tweaks, just, just uh, was a bit inventive about the way I used the equipment I've already got and that's the results that you've just seen there. Um, Hopefully it's giving you some ideas, you know, I mean, it's, uh, those bivvy bags aren't particularly expensive, they're not cheap, you know, I mean, they're, they're not like a ten or anything like that, but then they're not, they're not hundred quid either. And if you've already got walking poles, or even if you haven't, I mean, you're somewhere like this, I could have easily found a couple of sticks to tie together and use as the sort of A-frame, or like I did last time, but anyway, yeah, I digress. Um, don't want to use it as a sleeping bag liner, as a sleeping bag outer even. I want to use it more like a tent, that's how I'm going to do it. 
and I think that's going to be quite a comfortable night's sleep actually from, from what I've just tried. Give it a go. Get yourself one. The, the, the nice thing about, I've said this before, I said this about the British Army Basher. The nice thing about British Army kit is you'll always sell it back to the people you buy it from. So I go to a, a local place, I'll give them a shout out, Riders, TW Riders in Celio. Great shop for this kind of stuff. Um, and I've bought gear off them in the past and I've sold gear back to them and I've never really made a huge loss. Certainly, it hasn't cost me as much as if I've rented the kit, if you, if you can imagine that, you know. If you used to go out and rent something, they might charge you a tenner and then, a, you know, and all the rest of it. And I've always made that money back, so, yeah, go and try it, try it. If you don't like it, sell it back. Right then, time to trek back home, boy. I wonder how many people will recognise this view. <laughs> <laughs>